Hello everyone! I thought today I would get on and restore this little leather pouch that I got recently when I went shopping at the Waverley Antique Markets and you can see me picking this up in that last video I did. So I've linked that up the top and let's have a go at cleaning it up and hopefully bringing it back to something that looks a bit less dry. So I started off with these Oakwood leather wipes that are basically designed for everyday furniture cleaning if you've got leather furniture. It's more of a cleaning cloth rather than anything that's oily. It's got a very nice citrus smell and I'm starting with one of these because I figured that this pouch would be pretty grotty and I don't know where it's been so the first thing I wanted to do is just wipe off any filth and nastiness that's on it. Yeah you can see already that there's quite a bit of dirt Ew. <laughs> so I've just gone over the whole pouch with this cloth and just wiped off any residue that may be sitting on top because nobody needs that in their life. Yucky. I thought I'd better use a cloth that's actually designed for cleaning leather rather than just using water. I don't think water would be very good because I imagine it would dry out the leather even further and I would say that soap would also do that same thing so a leather cloth it is and I'm just going over and wetting the whole area giving it a nice clean it was quite tough getting the edges I found but I've cleaned it up as much as I can and I even cleaned inside as well because who knows what was in there but I just put the cloth right in and just kind of gave it a bit of a scrub around and hopefully that gets rid of some of the dirt yeah you can see it all on there that's just nasty and then I folded the cloth the other way and went back in just to clean off any more residue that was inside because it's too tight in order to actually look inside to see how dirty it was. But I don't think it was too bad. I got rid of most of it at least. Enough that I wasn't quite so grossed out by it. <laughs> okay, so now I'm getting another product and this one is Kiwi Dave's Leather Balsam. So this is made predominantly of beeswax and I think some other plant-based products. It's purely natural and it's an oil or wax so that there's no water in this. So once you rub it in, that should make the leather really, really supple and a lot softer and a lot more like how leather is supposed to feel. I just grabbed a clean microfiber cloth and I didn't notice it at the time, but there is a bit of dirt or schmutz on the wax itself which is kind of annoying that I didn't see that till after and I think I ended up picking it up with the cloth but I couldn't decide where to start in the end I just thought well I'll just try it on the back and I rubbed it in a bit just to see what would happen and yeah you can already see that it's much darker and that is just pure wax basically so I'll just speed up the footage and I'll come back again shortly once I've polished it all up and we'll see how it turns out. not looking too bad at all. I actually decided to go over it again with the second coating because this leather was so dry and it just absorbed all of the wax really really quickly so I thought I'd try another coat just to see if I could make it a bit shinier and a bit darker as well. I 
I think in future I'm probably going to actually have to add a few more layers of wax over time but I thought two for now and then I'll leave it and let it dry. The stuff dries really quickly actually and didn't leave any greasy residue which is great. So this is how it looks after a couple of coats of the leather wax and it's looking a lot smoother, it feels a lot nicer than it did before, nowhere near as dry. It feels a lot more like new leather, or at least used leather but not disgustingly dried out in someone's shed leather. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but there we go. I'm quite pleased with how that came out. I thought it would come out quite nicely. It is a bit wrinkled on the top, but there's not much I can do about that. That's just because it's very, very old. I don't know how old. And I found a couple of little notebooks that will fit in there. A couple of little Clairefontaine notebooks. And also a couple of mini fountain pens that I had in my collection, which also fit because a full length pen does not. As we saw in the last video, I tried that other fountain pen and it was too tall. But this tiny little folding one, which folds out to a full size fountain pen, fits in there perfectly. And I was happy about that. So a couple of pens and a couple of notebooks is pretty much what this little case will hold. There we go, clipping it up. All good. So with a little bit of elbow grease and voila, one lovely leather case, all ready to be used for my notebooks and pens. Thank you so much for watching and I'll swatch you later. Bye!